welcome to Out and About with Martin. Today you join me on day five of my Scottish tour. Currently passing over the Sky Bridge onto the Isle of Skye, where I'll be doing a coastal tour of the island. Prepare to enter the roundabout after half a mile. Excuse us out now. I'll be making a few stops on the way. My first stop will be Milt Falls. Hope you enjoy the journey. Sit back and relax. there in the distance you can see the craggy outcrop known as the Quarang. I had hoped to take a walk up there in the afternoon. Unfortunately that didn't happen. Continue watching the video to find out why. I'm now coming up to the Melt Falls and Kilt Rock. Melt Falls is 60 metres high and plunges straight into the sea. Kilt rock is so called because it resembles the shape of a kilt. The curious pattern was formed over millions of years of volcanic activity. The lava would flow over the sandstone and then cool, forming these long vertical pillars. I'm now heading up to the very north of the Isle of Skye.
now approaching the Sky Museum of Island Life. Museum of Island Life depicts what life would have been like on the Isle of Skye 100 years ago. The exhibits are housed in croft houses, reconstructed in a style of that era. I continue following the coastline of the Isle of Skye. Unfortunately it started raining and this rain started getting very heavy. The heavy rain was forecast to last the rest of the day and into the night. So my plan to travel inland to the Kurang for a walk had to be changed and I continued following the coastline of the island. <music> Heavy rain turned torrential and although my cameras are waterproof 
I didn't want to risk getting them damaged. So I decided it was best if I was to end filming here. Next week I'll continue my tour of Scotland as I travel back onto the mainland and inland to Glenfinnan Viaduct and Glencoe. Or do I? Find out next week. <laughs>